Hi and welcome to Learn City. My name is Praise and I'm your mathematics tutor. And in today's class, we will be solving more examples on menstruation. Here we'll be solving just three simple examples on menstruation. In our last class, we solved two examples on menstruation. And if you are just watching the video, please go back to our videos and watch, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, the first example for today's class is find the radius and surface area of a sphere whose volume is 606.375 meter cube. So we have our volume to be 606.375 meter cube so we have to find our radius and surface area now for a sphere the volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cube y d Surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. We have it to be 4 over 3 pi r cube and 4 pi r squared. Now, the first one says we have to find the radius, but we are given the volume. So we have to have it to be 4 over 3 pi r cube. So we have our volume to be 606.375, which is equals to 4 over 3 pi r cube. So we have it to be 606.375 to be 4 over 3 times 22 over 7 times r cube. So, when we have it to be 606.375 to be 88 over 21 times R cube. So, when we bring it to the other side, we have it to be R cube to be 606.375 divided by 88 divided by 21. So we have it to be R cubed to be equals to 606.375 times 21 over 88. So when we have this, when we cut this one, we have it to be 6.89. So times 21, we then have our R cubed to be 144.89. 7. We have it to be R cubed to be 144.7. So then we have so we have it to be equals to 3 root 144.7. So when we use our calculator to find 3 root 144.7, we have our R to be 5.25. Our radius will be 5.25. So now for our area, we have it to be 4 by r squared. Well, we have it to be 4 times 3.14 times 5.25 all squared. When we use our calculator, we will get 346.25. 5 meter. So we have this to be meter squared. We have it to be 346.5 meter squared. Now, the next example says. Find the length of the diagonal of a cube of edge 8 cm. Find the surface area and its volume. We have the edge to be 8 cm. So we have to find the length, 
the surface area and the volume. When we are looking for surface area, it is also known as the curved surface area or the total or the complete surface area. So here we have the edge to be a centimeter for a cube. We have our length diagonal to be root three times a, where our a is always the edge. For our cube, we have it to be root three times a, where our a is the edge. So we have our length diagonal to be root three times a. When we use our calculator. To solve this, we have it to be 13.856 centimeter. We have it to be 13.856 centimeters. Now, for the area, the surface area, we have it to be 6a squared. There we have it to be 6 times 8 squared to be 6 times 8 times 8 or that to be 6 times 64 so we have this to be 384 we have this to be 384 centimeter squared so our area is 384 centimeter squared then we have our volume to be a cube. Volume for is a cube. Then we have it to be a times a times a. We have it to be a cube. This will be 512 centimeter cube. So we have it to be 512 centimeter cube. So that is the length for the diagonal of a cube with edge 8 centimeter we've gotten the surface area we've gotten the length and we've gotten the volume so now the third question says find the slant height of a cone whose volume is one two nine three six centimeter so we have volume of the cone to be one two nine three six centimeter cube. We have the radius of the base is twenty one centimeter. Find the total surface area. So we have to look for slant height and total surface area. We are looking for the slant height and the total surface area. Now, for a cone, we have the volume. The volume of a cone is 1 over 3 pi r square h. We have the volume of a cone to be 1 over 3 pi r square h. Where we have our volume to be 1, 2, 9, 3, 6. To be equals 1 over 3 times 22 over 7 times 21, times 21, times h. We have to look for the slant height. But first, we have to look for h. So we have 7 year 1, 7 year is 3, 3 year 1, 3 year is 3. So we have to be 1, 2, 9, 3, 6, equals to 22, times 21, times h. So we have our h to be 1, 2, 9, 3, 6, over 22, times 21. Then we have 2 here to be 11. 2 here is 6. 2 here is 4. That's here to be 6. In 16, we have it to be 8. We have it to be 8. So now, what can go? we can go where we have three here to be seven we have here to be two we have here to be one in 16 three we have it to be five 
animating, we have it to be nine. So we have it our age to be two one five nine over seventy seven. So when we divide two one five nine over seventy seven by our calculator, we have our age to be twenty eight centimeters. We have our age to be twenty eight centimeters. Now for this last height, which is L. We then have it to be L squared to now be R squared plus H squared, which is also a Pythagoras term of A squared, which is equal to B squared plus C squared. So our L squared, which is R squared plus H squared, will now be L squared equals to 21 squared plus 28 squared. So we have L squared to be 21 times 21. That is to be 441 plus 64. 16, 16 plus 6, that's 22. That's 16, 1. This is 5. We have 4, 8, 7. So we have 7, 84. Now our S squared is now 441. Have it to be 5, 12, 1, 11. And this is 12. So we have to be 1, 2, 2, 5. Now to find the square root. We have our L to be 35. We have, our, we have the square root of 125 to be 35. Now we've gotten our slant height. So the last question says find its total surface area. Now the total surface area for a cone is by r into bracket l plus r. So we have a pi r to be 22 over 7 times 21 into bracket. What is our l? Our l is 35 plus 21. We have 7 here, 1, 7 here to be 3. We have this to be 66 into bracket 56. So when we do 66 times 66, we have it to be 3696 centimeters squared using our calculator. So this brings us to the end of our class on solving examples under menstruation, where we solve examples under sphere, cube, and cone. And in our next class, we will also continue further on menstruation. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and comment on our videos, and I'll be seeing you in the next class.